AirPlay is a great technology. Being able to wirelessly stream your tunes to a speaker is a wonderful tool. But even the cheapest entry-level model is over $100. But with Raspberry Pi, everyone's favorite $35 single board computer, you can build an AirPlay receiver that will play your music on any set of speakers you already own. Any model of Raspberry Pi other than the Model A will suffice for this project. You'll also need a computer and some speakers. To start, get an image of the most recent version of Raspbian OS and load it onto your SD card. Insert the card into the Pi, hook it up to a display and keyboard, your network, and connect it to power to boot the Pi. You'll be greeted with a configuration screen. Take a moment to select your region for language and keyboard settings and expand the file system to take advantage of the full capacity of your SD card. When you're done, close the config screen and reboot your Pi. Once you're configured, you can connect to the Pi remotely via SSH. From your phone, use a network tool like Fing to determine the IP address for the Pi, and then connect to it remotely. Now we can begin configuring the software to our AirPlay connection. Start by updating the Raz Pi to the latest version, and then configure the audio output to make sure that sound is coming out of the audio jack instead of the HDMI port. Now it's time to install the SharePort software package which manages our connection. First, however, we need to install a number of software packages that SharePort depends on. Once those are installed, we need to install SDP, the protocol that AirPlay broadcasts over. Clone the repository, and then compile the build. Once compiled, we're finally ready to set up SharePort. Once again, we'll be cloning the source repo, then compiling it. Run SharePort with the following flags. The last one is key. It's the name that your iOS device will see and connect to. So name it something you can identify later. Then confirm you can connect to it from your iPhone or iPad. We're nearly done. We just need to set up a few more things so we'll automatically load the software whenever Pi boots. This turns your Pi into more of an appliance, so it's ready to receive your music whenever you want. Of course, you can take this project further. You can add a Wi-Fi dongle to increase connectivity, or add a battery and a speaker enclosure that make it portable. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel, or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos, or visit us on makezine.com.